The Knights of Columbus and the U.S. Agency for International Development sign a new agreement to work together to help religious minorities in the Middle East rebuild their communities. Supreme Knight Carl Anderson says he hopes, quote, our joint combined efforts will bring hope and concrete improvement to the situation confronting minority communities targeted by ISIS. The Knights say they will spend $5 million over the next six months coordinating with USAID to support those communities. That's on top of the $20 million they've already donated. In addition, the head of USAID, Mark Green, is headed to the Vatican next week to talk about the aid that will help Christians. Join us now is Andrew Walther, Vice President of Strategic Communications for the Knights of Columbus. Andrew, welcome back to the program. Good to be here. How is this new agreement between the Knights of Columbus and USAID going to work? I know that you guys have been working with them for years. Well, this really formalizes the work that the Knights and USAID have been doing together and really puts out in, in very clear terms some of the ways that we intend to work together in the future in terms of sharing information, in terms of bringing people together for various purposes, including you know helping to coordinate some of the other money that's flowing in terms of finding the people in need, bring them to the table so that we can look at this in a, in a really holistic way. I think it's an important step in the work that's been done since ISIS decimated these communities and the genocide going back to 2014. When you think about the money that you mentioned, USAID has pledged almost $200 million in helping the recovery in northern Iraq. That's the area where the Christians uh, were targeted by ISIS. Is your money, their money, enough to really rebuild what was lost? Well, you know, ISIS really obliterated uh, Mosul. They really obliterated much of the Nineveh Plain. There's a lot of rebuilding that needs to be done. And when you think about it, it's, it's a number of things. It's infrastructure. It's housing. But it's also things like getting rid of the landmines that are left and the explosives that are left. It's getting people back into the fields. USAID has a report on all of the tractors and farm equipment, irrigation equipment that was blown up by ISIS. So it's a huge lift. And there are a number of countries involved. USAID is doing this. The Germans, I think, just put in about $30 million. Other countries have put in money as well. Hungary, Poland, for example, have, have done quite a bit. So there's an enormous need. The amount of money that's being put into this is substantial and important. But I would say there's, there's a need for an enormous amount of money and people that want to support this, that want to get involved because the need really is gigantic. Yeah. And they can certainly help through groups like the Knights of Columbus here in the United States, through groups like Aid to the Church in Need in Europe. And you know, to help us with what we're doing, they can go to christiansatrisk.org. People can donate. They can be part of this because it's, it's sort of like the situation of Europe after World War II on a smaller scale. There is complete decimation, and ISIS's plan was to rid the region of religious minorities, including Christians. And this is an important step in preventing that ideological victory and keeping pluralism there in the Middle East and in a land where Christians have been for two millennia. One of the biggest challenges in the past has been getting the money directly to Christians. There's a lot of red tape has been going on. Do you think this new agreement will help sort of bypass the red tape and help get it directly to people who need it? Well, certainly I think this agreement allows the Knights of Columbus to spend money very flexibly as, as we have in the past and to get money directly to people there. I know USAID has been working through a number of their channels to get money directly to people and also to do large scale infrastructure projects, which are very important to bringing these uh, towns and cities back online hooked up to the grid, you know, connected via roads, things like this. All of, all of these pieces are important, and our, and our hope is that working together, we can get all of the right pieces of this puzzle in place so that these folks can have a chance to rebuild their communities, not just survive, but in the long term, come back, thrive, and actually contribute as component members of Iraqi society and, and throughout the Middle East to, to really enrich their countries as they have for centuries and millennia. I know a lot of people are supporting the work that you do and obviously praying for you guys as well. Andrew Walther, Vice President of Strategic Communications for the Knights of Columbus, thanks so much. Thank you.